Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev Stack, but today we're taking a look at this Lenovo Pentium Inside unit. This is an M600 unit, one of the super small, tiny, whiny, itty bitty. Look at what kind of ports we got on here. They love throwing out the displays in these tiny systems. USB 3.0, 2.0, uh, network and power. You can see here where they would have the optional uh, VGA. Gotta say, I love the VGA. I don't think it should ever go away. And anybody who does uh, is probably a gamer. <laughs> VGA always works for troubleshooting older systems, for getting the stuff to work. This is what we got on the inside of this unit anyways. We have uh, the fan. Um, geez, that must be... No, no, that's where the CPU is. That's just where the fan is. There is no CPU under that fan. This is just standard Pentium, uh, which is basically something above the Celeron, I understand. We only have one spot for uh, RAM. I believe that that is DDR4? Yeah, DDR4. DDR4, 4 gigabytes. It's uh, really unfortunate that they didn't give you... A two spots for RAM here. Like, they always give you two spots for RAM, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, check out that, uh, oh, it's just so cute. Look how cute that thing is. Itty bitty, uh, speaker there. Microphone, microphone speaker. And let's take a look. You get your SSD here. 128 gigs, good stuff. Now, one thing you gotta mind when you take this off is one of the antennas to the Wi-Fi is right here. Here. So, take that off. We just take that one uh, screw out. There we go. Remember that thing pops off. Remember to reattach it when you can. We got uh, the CMOS battery here. And that's where we could put an M.2 card. Yeah, so that's what she looks like on the inside. Got extra ports available up here, but uh, it looks like they're only using one per fan. But that is what we got going on. Let's take a look at that. Uh, that's got to be AC Wi-Fi, isn't it? AC? Yeah, dual band. That's what I like to see. Anyways, I got an AX I could replace that with. Anyways, I'm going to be doing a benchmark and a gamer test on this unit to see how fast we can make it. So when I'm checking out the specs here, I can definitely tell why the customer is saying this runs really slow. All we have on here is a, a J3710 at 1.6 gigahertz uh, quad core and Intel HD graphics is the display adapter. I mean, this is uh, this is slow as some of the low end mini PCs, the cheap ones that you could get off of Amazon. They're it's it's unbelievably slow. I'm surprised that. Uh, uh, I'm surprised that Lenovo actually made these, but let's take it through a benchmark and see what it can pull off because it still might be just enough for basic stuff. For office stuff, something like this is definitely fine, but I am kind of blown away that uh, Lenovo would make something like this. All right, first off for the Passmark benchmark, we're getting two point, uh, almost three frames per second on DirectX 9. Definitely not a good start. Here we got DirectX 10 at, uh, oh man, 0.14 frames per second, up to 3 frames maximum. DirectX 11, we're getting about 6 frames per second maximum, just under 1 frame per second minimum. Oh, okay, so I'm pretty surprised about this. This thing actually managed to pull off DirectX 12. I have one of the mini PCs that I was talking about that uh, had the processor that was a lot like it. Just, just benchmarked a little bit lower and absolutely could not pull off DirectX 12. So this is definitely a good sign. We might be able to play off uh, or pull off some of the audio games. Yeah, getting this warning up is always a bad sign when you go through a benchmark. So here we see the final results, and the final results are about the same as uh, the cheap Amazon mini PCs. That just uh, kind of blows me away. However, it definitely should be said that these things can probably do just about anything that you need around the office or your Microsoft office. They can do YouTube, they can do video, but uh, you're, I don't think you're going to be mu getting much gaming off of it, but there's only one way to find out. 
All right, so now we're trying out some Grand Theft Auto. It took a long time to load onto the system. I got an error that said the CPU isn't good enough for it, and I believe it, but let's see if we can just get into it at least. That's about as best as we can do, I believe. Oh man, this is glitchy. This is, this is frame drop stuttering. This is just barely playing it on the lowest available method, but this is definitely playing it better than uh, the cheap Amazon uh, Teresa, Teresa, Teresa units that you can get. Man, I feel like I'm not even controlling this thing in real time. I feel like there's an input lag. So, yeah, I definitely see uh, the complaints that the customer <laughs> originally had with this. My goodness, this is not going down so well. I mean, yeah, yeah, this is definitely uh, not even as good as the Xbox One or 360. Wow. Man, it took a while, but I fa finally got Fortnite installed on here. It is playing in performance mode, just as uh, you might consider it would be. Let's see how she actually plays, though. Alright, in-game, rocking out at about 13 frames per second. Uh, it's definitely uh, finicky, it's definitely glitchy feeling. I definitely feel like I'm playing this on an Xbox 360. Little bit of input lag, everything looks old, old school. Man, this is like gaming in 2010. Let's see if I can nail this thing and hit the ground fast. Look at that, that, that circle, the orb, it looks like it comes from PlayStation. Man, oh wow, no, even, no special effects for uh, coming down here. All right, let's see if I can, uh, come on, come on. Oh, I can't get over how bad this looks. This is the worst I've ever, oh, oh, there's somebody over there. See, lag, oh, lag, that's the worst lag. Yeah, try to lead a target with lag like this. You don't even see what's in his hand. That's amazing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh wow, look at that. Look how bad. That's just amazing. This is that max volume. That cute little speaker is just pushing it out as best, as best she can, but she's not having... What was that? What was that thing? What's going on? Oh my goodness! What, what's going on? Was that a rock? Did you guys see? There it is again! What's that? What's up with that? Oh my goodness. Whoa! Look at it go! What was that? Okay, something's definitely glitching out here. Something's definitely going on here. You know what? This is so bad, it's actually pretty good. It's actually pretty good. I think I can sit here and watch this for a little bit longer. Like, what? What the heck is that? It's some crazy surfing thing. It's like somebody strung a bunch of Ataris together to chain them for their CPU value, and that's what we got here. So, yeah. <laughs> it almost looks like I'm not even playing, or this individual isn't even playing by this point. So... I have a hard time even recommending this for Microsoft Office because the user that had this had it for Microsoft Office and when you're doing advanced spreadsheets it really wasn't uh... man sometimes I wonder how they can even get away with selling this. So this thing is about mm, three or four years old by now. <laughs> oh, this thing really is like three or four years old by now. And, uh, yeah, you won't really be seeing this on the market. I can't recommend this, guys. Maybe if you want a Minecraft server, maybe if you if you need a network uh, attached storage. You can't even put much storage into this, though. This thing's just disappointing all the way around, and I can't recommend it. It, I'm sure it'll last. I got an SSD in here. I got 4 gigabytes DDR4 RAM. It should be okay. If you, if you hate your employees, get them one of these. I would say that. If you want this for an office and you hate your employees, or if you're just doing work in Word or email, no giant Excel sheets, because once again, that's all they were that the customer was doing, and they weren't too happy with it. And I can kind of see why, look at this. It's as if, so I almost think that this is a bot, and by viewing it with my horrible system, I'm throwing off its game all altogether. Look at that, what the heck is going on there? 
Oh, I should I should capture this for some B-roll. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me. Can't recommend this unit unless super light load. That's just how it is. That's just how she goes. Like and subscribe if you like this stuff, folks. I really appreciate uh, any comments, any uh, interaction. And have a good one, folks. Take care of each other.